water bag, Nick. Well, welcome back, y'all. Black Street Boys Show, episode numero 65. As usual, your boy Brandon keep making it range for the young baller. Man, across from you. Got your boy D. Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is. Man, you already know who it is. The CEO, the prayers, Rob the Guy, Rob Philosophies, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. Man, Patreon, Discord, Discord. numbers going up, people joining, conversations is happening. Yes, and sir. man, people are joining the Patreon, man. I appreciate y'all joining the Patreon and stuff because we say it every single time. We'll say it again. Make it quick. We pay for this stuff. It's not free. Y'all want social support and see some extra content, extra segments. Early podcast, podcast, you come out about 24, sometimes more than that, hours early. Also, extra segments on there. And we have a whole bunch of other podcasts on there, too, like when we were in the old setup. So that's never been seen outside of that. Some pretty ridiculous things have been said on there. I was looking back, I was like, Loki kind of surprised because I was like, damn, there's Loki hours and hours of that stuff, like three plus hour pods. It's craziness on there, man. Mm-hmm. But anyways, you want to start shouting out the patrons like we've been doing. And right now we had we got a little bit more in there. Shout out Slime, shout out Darius Kearney, Swindle the Great, Malik Cosby Wright, All Right Damn, 74, Luis Cho Ross, Mar Morales, Dominique Robinson, Mr. Steel Girl, Psychosis, Julian M. Quinlan. Shout out my dog. That's my cousin right there. Shout out to him. I see you join, man. And shout out to Jeremy as well. Join the squad. Get some extra content. Gilmore? You feel me? Hmm? Gilmore? I don't know. I don't think so. But yeah, he is. Yeah. Shout out to Jeremy Gilmore, dude, yeah. too. I know you probably you might you probably listening right now, man. Shout out to Jeremy. He's a lot of support, yeah. man. That's Anyways, y'all. Man. Ultimate Ultimatum. Mm. I guess I'm starting off this week. Usually I point to DJ all the past few weeks. <laughs> but I guess I'm starting off this time, man. All right, y'all, man. This ain't for no money. This is just the better, you know what I'm saying? Of the two options. Which one's the better option? So, would you rather? Just one time. Mm-hmm. Eat a Duke and sandwich one time, nah. or rest of your days you can't have no meat. Gotta go vegan. Ah, uh, Duke sandwich. Damn. Duke sandwich. <laughs> yes, boy. But you ain't you ain't even hear the size of the sandwich. Nope, don't give a damn. That throwback five dollar foot long. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's that crazy. But I won't lie. Don't care. I'm somewhat of a carnivore myself. And I instead of that steak. red wine vinegar, you already know what other <laughs> substance is being used in replacement of that. I don't care. <laughs> I can't. I, yeah, I, can't. Guess, I guess at that point, you're going to make a difference if you're already eating a dookie sandwich. No, mm-hmm. right. Not at all. I don't know. Something about it is just like. Five dollars a foot long? I don't you care. don't get no Italian herbs and cheese, Nick. Bro, I'm aware. I don't care. I you're getting the lowest care. quality possible. That white bread. Tough ass, tough ass bun. Overcooked. <laughs> tough as hell to get through. Adding parameters. This is nuts. <laughs> yeah. Tough as hell to get through. But I, I won't care. lie. You will not sway me. Yeah, you can't. I won't give up the meat. Pause. Thank you for that. Um, would it make I'm a gonna, difference if it was warm or cold? No, no not at all. It's still would shit. you rather it be warm or cold? Uh, does, does it really matter? It's still I think shit. I would prefer. I think it. I don't know. I think, I think it would cold. make a difference, but like, I think cold. Yeah, I feel like cold would probably be better. I feel like warm the con- the consistency. You know what? You're probably right. And the smell because yeah. they do say like you know like to add emphasis on the saying someone smells like ass. You would say hot this ass. Smell like hot ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. So I guess. <laughs> Cold Dookie would be better than warm Dookie oh or hot God. Dookie. I can't believe we're discussing. Or scorching yeah, I Dookie. Can't I can't believe we're discussing this. Well, I can. This this is this is actually not. This is actually far from the worst discussion we've had. Very true. Also, so give you know me that water, DJ. Where's that, bro? You wanted to be Thank a little. You finally gave princess. No, nah, he gave you that water. I did. It's about the one I wanted. He gave me no. that one. I wanted this one. No, he didn't. No, no, no. I gave him the one he wanted. I gave him the one he didn't want. <laughs> well, I'm not taking it now. <laughs> I give it back. All right. Anyways, what am I doing? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. You know what? I had some vegan ground beef one okay. time. Mm. And I ain't gonna lie, it tasted better than regular ground beef. Nah, but I know okay. what they don't got, The though. specific one I had. Hold on. I know what they don't got. They don't got no vegan Popeyes. Hmm. Yeah. Dookie Jones. Yep. I <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, I, didn't, I didn't cut it out. My microphone just went out. My bad. Yeah, Dookie Jones. Hey, Mr. Popeyes, he ain't getting No, I ain't been to Popeyes in a while. Actually, I would go to Popeyes every day. I'm still trying to get that sponsorship. Um, mm-hmm. I went the other day. For real? You tried them new wings? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, they boneless? The boneless wings? I don't think they got boneless wings. <sighs> well, they got to just nugget better ass. Bro, they have boneless spicy wings, bro. They need to bring them back, I bro. I don't recall that. They I need to bring them back, either. bro. I was eating them. But if, if they do got them, I'm going to get them. No, but they got like <laughs> some sweet and spicy wings. Oh, yeah? They good? I yeah. hadn't had them. But from what I see, the streets is saying that it's legit. Should we uh, embark on the journey? No, no, no. Popeye, me and Popeye's taking a look. Actually, no, I eat Popeye's every day. 
<laughs> I'm trying to take a little break, man. You should. Yeah. I'm trying to eat a little I bit healthier and watch my shit. Man. Yeah, yeah for real. Heart being. Mm hmm. I just bought some kiwi, man. Mm hmm. That kiwi nice, man. Yeah, I told you about the motherfucking blood pressure, boy. Yeah, yeah man. I'm trying to watch it a little bit. Was I'm trying to watch it a little bit, man. So, Ray, just like that, Duke, you said, like, is being vegan you that say bad? Yeah. Is, be, is being vegan? I, I didn't know. I said I had some vegan ground beef. Those look pretty good. I've had very vegan, delicious. I've had vegan. Uh, I ain't had vegan. I've nothing. had Beyond Meats before. And well, Beyond okay. Meat be kind of bogus. I actually, okay. I ain't gonna, man. But a Dookie sandwich. Yeah, Dookie five sandwich. dollar foot long, man. Yeah, I'm doing it. You gotta pay for it too. I don't give no fuck. I don't care. <laughs> I <love> like, you <laughs> tried as hard as it's, it's, it's not gonna move me. Forever. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna sway me on uh, this. How can I sway? How can I sway to make him do it? Make him not do it. Nah. Shit. Double decker. Don't matter. God, the damn. value of me is too high. Pause. Yeah. It's just man, my steaks. Yeah, and like chicken. Like, bro. Like, uh, you know your black too, ass can't go without that. Too you missed the Popeyes. Bread. You can't say that to nobody. What you mean? I said I'm going vegan. Shit, I don't believe that for a second. Uh, you don't believe that? Not at all. Hey, next week I'm gonna let you know where we went uh, after the damn podcast. We're not going to Popeyes, man. Okay, well, I know what wherever we go, hit what's gonna be on this plate is some meat. Pause. Well, obviously, if I have a choice to, like, have just... But, but if that's not Dookie Sandwich involved. <laughs> but I'm just saying that's a part of your daily... Intake. Uh, right. So, you know, if you don't take that Dookie Sandwich, your life is going to be changed forever. That's because facts. you will not be able to eat the same. Not even most, close. I would be the most unhappy individual on the planet. You would be the most unhappy individual. All of us would. Well, I if I couldn't have no meat? Yes, all of us would. We all grew up off meat. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> meat has helped me throughout, you know, them struggle times, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even have no carbs with it, man. Like niggas know, man, back in the day, struggle meals, I used to be eating them hot dogs. No bun. No bun. You just suck it on weenies. No, nah, they don't suck it. I was biting the shit out of them motherfuckers, Damn, though. Biting on weenies. Biting the shit out of them. Damn. 20 seconds of that microwave, Got come em. out piping mm. hot, but it ain't burst open. It ain't bust. And Might then you just this. get some barbecue sauce, dip that thing. <laughs> Three bites. Maybe four. Take that weenie down, huh? Mm -hmm. Go I like to call it a Frank. <laughs> it's okay. You're a wiener enjoyer. <laughs> Yo, y'all from Jackass. Y'all from Jackass. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, oh shitty God. mouth ass, man. <laughs> we all gonna all be right, shitty fuck mouth. that. No. All right, I gotta make it harder. I gotta make it harder on you. I'm gonna make you say no. You can't have either go vegan for the rest of your days. No more meat. And you know you love meat. You know you love meat. Please say pause after that. No, 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 no. No pause. You know you love meat. I'm talking about you, not meat. <laughs> well, I'll be the first and, that I don't like that kind of meat. No more meat for the rest of your days, or you can have it as much as you want. Keep going in your meat devouring ways. But once a week, every Friday, you know, some people they don't, you know, they only eat fish. You only eating dookie sandwiches every Friday. Done. That's rest fine. of your God damn, it's impossible. It's All impossible, right. y'all. <laughs> it's impossible. We I need to get some of y'all like, on here. Cause can I can't. You I can can't, I can't like get them to say no, man. It, man. I'm trying. Y'all y'all keep saying I need to make them harder. Y'all, not everybody's saying yes to this shit. I ask people outside this podcast, they be saying no like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I be coming to here, it's just yes, yes, yes. Yeah, doing it. God. Because you just treat it like religion. You just don't eat on Friday. <laughs> Look them up. Wait, just don't. Wait, what do you mean? Treat no, you got to consume it. No, you got to consume the Dookie sandwich every Friday. Oh, you have to eat it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm still, yeah, doing. I'm still doing it. All right, I'm still doing it. <laughs> I'm still doing it. Not no big deal. Now, I ain't, I'm going vegan, y'all. So I'm going to have sense in here. What they don't say? <laughs> That's a small price to pay for salvation. salvation. <laughs> right. Nigga, your gut already in smithereens. You could probably use a little vegan lifestyle, but I'm not eating none of that this crazy impossible shit. Because I've been looking up, I've been watching food videos and shit. That impossible shit that y'all vegans love eating and shit, and y'all just, you know, shun meat, that should be hella worse. All this synthetic shit, you killing yourself too. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. got the same thing as like soda and diet soda. Like, yeah, but always diet. Right? Kinda, yeah. You Bro. know what I'm saying? It can help if you have diabetes, but like if you don't shit. got diabetes. The shit is stupid. We have people come to Wendy's and they order half Diet Coke, half regular Coke. Dude, that's crazy as hell. If I'm anything, I'm pulling it down a exactly. little bit. Exactly. Like, what? Because <laughs> now you're getting all these, you didn't introducing new chemicals and shit on top of the chemicals you already got in there. Only bro, you only did <laughs> oh nothing but God. give the person working there a headache. Literally. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just oh, dumb as hell. Bullshit. I that's feel like a dumbass making that concoction for them. <laughs> Facts. 
This is some of, that's some of the pointless shit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, the shit is very What's stupid. What's on walk up and say, I want Coke and Pepsi mixed together? You know, I don't think restaurants do that. Yeah, I don't. They could get sponsored by one or the yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah, that makes but sense. But that wouldn't be shit. It, it, would make shit. A, it wouldn't make a difference because they, same thing. I'm sure there's someone in the world who buys both cans. Would, would it make a difference? Some... Same thing. Facts. Nah, I'm sure that is a thing. It's not the same Coke thing. Coke and Pepsi, same thing? It's not the same thing. No. Did not? No. no. Really? They're very similar. Like extremely. But there, there's a difference when you taste them. What's the difference? I, I can't explain it to you. It's a, uh, it's like sharp, sharp of tongue. <laughs> right. you know? I sharp think there tongue. is a difference, though. There is a sweetness. But I haven't I had, had it so long. I ain't I had, it, it, I ain't had it. I had it. If I so drink long. soda, I'm drinking like Sprite. Facts. Yeah. But First that's thing, pretty much. I it. really don't drink soda like all that the, at all. All the caramel colored drinks and shit, even worse for you. I'm not. I'm not like healthy. Black as hell. I'm drinking black as shit. Yeah. 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 For real. Only mix them with liquor. Maybe that's worse. Type shit. That's probably the only time. Well, but you not. Yeah, because the first time I had Coke and like. God knows how long it was when I was with him. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And that motherfucker was hidden. Anyways, man, what y'all like doing? Y'all eating that? You know what I'm saying? Y'all dookie fresh or what, man? Uh, anyways, Daenerys Johnson. All right, man. I got me a little one. Would you rather lose all the memories of your best friend, like your closest homie, like, mm. or would you rather lose a thumb? A thumb? Yep. Whole thumb got to get chopped off. Damn, how you choke chicken without no thumb? You can make it happen. Facts. Definitely can. I ain't gonna be the same level of friction. <laughs> <laughs> this boy uh, is a professional. That's crazy. That's some crazy. That's the first thing a motherfucker yeah, think of. One. You only lose one. You only lose one. Thumb. I can choose. I can choose which one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I play, okay. That makes it easy. Okay. I. I guess my. Damn. I nah. can't hoop no more. Left but, thumb, losing thumb is crazy, right? Yeah, think about Can it. I lose my pinky because this one already no, fucked no, up no, the motherfucker. That. No, none of that. No, you good. This shit already ain't worth the damn. I don't give a damn. You and I, you choosing that motherfucker. You got to choose a thumb. I'm a little finger? homie. Because the thumb is what makes you, like, as an animal, more, you know, yeah. able to grab it's what, it. It's what, it's, what, it's what elevates us. That's right. why I said I could beat bears because bears don't have thumbs. <laughs> that bear tear your ass up. No, the fuck he don't. He got uh, thumbs? Don't matter. He tears Does he have thumbs? And he can climb trees. Does he have thumbs in there, Johnson? No. But then he's not winning. Okay. Simple. Bear getting punched in the snout. Yeah. Come on now. These are two dead ass niggas. Don't come off thumbs. Real, real nigga activity. Either come way. Because that allows us to make us our tools and shit. Bear could have made no tool because it's over there. Got to clap some shit together. They can't do that. Can't do that. Do That's going to change everything. The thumb. Do you hear him chatting? Mm -hmm. Either way. You know what I'm saying? The point still stands. Shout out to the monkeys too. Yeah, they got thumbs. thumbs. Monkey. Yeah. Mon That's why I ate being a bear too. But that's why you was leading the troops that motherfucker. for the apes. Huh? You was leading the troops of the apes. You, you damn right. Mm -hmm. The biggest ape. Biggest ape. <laughs> Either way, what, what y'all doing, man? Oh, damn. I guess I got to... Damn. Nah, I, I guess I got to lose that thumb, man. You know what's yeah. crazy part? I said the same shit. Yeah, I can't lose... Thumb. I can't lose the memory. That's so different. Because I, yeah. I learned too much, bro. Yeah. Like, yes, I'll, I'll be a whole different person. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Oh God, bro! I lose that thumb. I couldn't bro. even imagine. If I lose any one of my close friends, I'll be a whole different person. Facts. My closest one? Nah, I'll be a whole different person, man. Hell no, can't do that. I lose this thumb. Let's say I got one other man. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can lose the left one too. Yeah, but see, I that's hard for me though because, like, I do a lot of ambidextrous to an extent. Like, I'm not fully ambidextrous, but there's certain things that I do with my left hand way better than my right. Like opening jars. My right that hand is true. Can't hack That's weird, right? My left hand. Like we strong, dominant. Off, like, like we right handed, easy. but like yeah, definitely yeah. Like it feels weird. Things, yeah, opening a jar right with hand. your with your with uh -huh. your strong hand. Mm -hmm. Or like in the shower, or driving, washing my body. It's always the left hand. Mm -hmm. the or right hand, hand won't do it. Really? No, yeah. I wash my body with my right for sure. Yeah, I definitely wash my ass with my right. I don't know why that is. But um, hey, I do like driving. I hate driving with my right hand. Yeah, I drive with my left. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't use two. I two ain't. It's damn near ain't ever going on there. If you want to, if you want to rizz her up, you gotta do, you gotta do one hand, bro. You know what I mean, you do, you know what I'm saying. I might put it at like six, seven o'clock, <laughs> either that or twelve. That's how you doing right there. Twist right. that motherfucker around. Twist that motherfucker around my finger. Mm. Okay, that's that's pretty stupid. But I right. nah, 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 my sister used to do that shit. One man. finger though. No, well, finger? I don't know if it's one finger. Oh, it I don't one, know why. I don't I pay that, that much attention. Said his feet. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, nigga, that's even crazier. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. even crazier. And some yeah, niggas my, be driving with their knees yeah, and shit. Yeah, my sister, that's exactly what I was going to say. She, she be driving with her knees sometimes. <laughs> you get a little tired. I understand. I know that before. If I'm driving, like, if it's a straight shot, you just kind of just got to, like, you know, mm. nudge it up to the side a little bit, then I guess. But actual driving? Crazy. <laughs> so we all crazy. losing thumbs? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah but speaking of, like, body up. parts and losing body parts and shit like that, I was listening to the radio because my phone broke, so I had to listen to the radio. And I was listening to a pop station. 
Tell Swift came on. You know my girl T Swift. You know I rock with her, bro. That song Karma. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But what happened was, I'm, I'm just bringing this up real quick. And then it came on, you know, in between those radio stations, like they'll come and talk and say some some news and shit like that. Mm. Listen, I don't understand. Well, I don't understand about the media and shit. It's always been the thing and shit like that. Paparazzi or whatever. Like, why do we care about just random shit that people is going on in their lives? Like, I found out that Selena Gomez broke her hand. What the fuck she need that hand for? Yeah. She ain't playing no, she don't need no hand to sing. Don't I mean, worry about what Selena Gomez do. for her everyday life. Right. Nah, it don't matter. Poor Selena. But I don't care. She'll be though. straight. I she don't need that. Like she out there hooping. They gotta shoot her mother. Gotta shoot a jump shot. Or she a quarterback. She gotta throw a, a she gotta fifty hold yard that pass. Mic, motherfucker. She gotta you hold that mic. Saying? They got the little ear. They got the little piece. And it might not even be. She got the other hand. What well, she want to use that though? What? What if it's a dominant hand? Well, oh, I don't bro. know. Right. I, and you honestly, don't know. I don't right. honestly give a damn. But even if it was, I still don't give a diggity damn. Poor Selena. If you need some help, I got you. <laughs> he only said that because he attracted to her. She was ugly. He wouldn't even say nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what. Don't worry yeah, about that just it. means yeah. I'm correct. Yeah, great milk. Uh, I've had a crush on her since Wizards of the Place. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> great milk. You know, I found out. I didn't realize she's like she got. Like, she's like the most followed. I think she has the most followers on social media, like on Instagram. Period. I really? It was Kim. Kim. She got more than Kim. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like a lot more. Good for Selena. Crazy as hell. I mean, really? I, I don't mean that's just more niggas I gotta slay. Hmm. That's only. That just mean I only got. That's only more niggas I gotta slay down. Okay, not that kind of slay, dude. Come on. No, no. no. Okay, I, I see what you. No, going. it's him. It's him. It's him. That's Terry uh, Slayer, huh? Robert Ennis. Oh Anderson. my god. Fuck that hand. Oh man, 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 man. Go for recovery, though. I guess. Would you rather be trapped in a relationship as toxic, if not more toxic, than Krishan Rock and Blueface's relationship, or be trapped in a boring relationship? With an ugly bitch. Or. But. The girl. In the toxic relationship. Ten. Bad. She bad. Baddest bitch on the planet. Boring. Best head on the planet. Boring. Best pussy on the planet. Boring. Okay. Break that down in quicker form real quick. Let's say it again one more time. Would you rather. Be stuck in a toxic relationship with a ten. Or a boring relationship with a two. The question should be Krishan simple. Rock level. The Krishan answer should Rock be very level. simple. Do I have to get her pregnant? What the fuck? Mm. Yes. God damn. Both of them. Boring. God damn. Both of them. And how ugly is she? Like, can we get a little comparison at least? But ugly, boy. She, she big as hell, too. She big as hell, but ugly. About how many niggas wide? Four. Four. So not five. Not five niggas wide. Not this. Can we at least like settle at three niggas wide? Nah, four niggas. Damn, wide. three niggas wide is already even tremendous. Four niggas is Well, it could be four tremendous. skinny niggas. Still a lot of niggas. <sighs> still a lot of niggas. <laughs> Fair. God damn. Nope. Um, I'm going to boring. Four niggas. Y'all do realize like how deadly that damn relationship was? You could die. Being getting hit with the body, I ain't gonna getting her pregnant is you crazy. I see worse. her doing crazy. Mm. I see her doing substances while the, this on live television. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's fake substances. I hope because I don't believe nothing's real real in that relationship. Mm -hmm. But uh, man, gotta get her pregnant. I guess I gotta go. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta go with that big old boring, the big ugly boring ugly bitch, ugly heifer. Gotta go boring. Shit, you niggas better than me. Shit, at least I live. You might die another I'm one. I'm not gonna die, man. We saw die. we saw that stuff that they were doing. <laughs> All right, she's not gonna kill you. Ain't nothing wrong with no big. Ain't no wrong with no big girl, man. She keep you warm at night. Factual. Your AC break she's also during boring. your your heat huh? break during the winter. She's also boring. <laughs> she's also Meaning, boring. but you your relationship cuddle. it's no spark. We all fucking. Oh, that, okay. You all fucking. You be looking at this bitch like, damn. God damn, you right. And then these are we didn't think this all the way through. I did. Know, me don't soft. Trust me, I did. Meat flashes his head. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can't cheat neither. I can't I cheat. I thought it all the way through. I can't cheat. Can't cheat neither. God. Cheating is sin. You shouldn't want to do that in no way. Cheating, yeah, cheating, cheating, that bad. cheating, cheating sin? Well, sure adultery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I thought that's if you married. Yes. But you're going to have a kid with this girl, so you're probably going to get married too, dude. Loophole. I'm not going to marry the bitch. You got to be with her for eternity. I'm still with her, but I, I can't be... Oh, you said you said I can't cheat though. But I said you can't cheat. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with the big bitch, man. I can't do it. Oh, Actually, you know what? You wait, Krishan, wait, wait, no, Krishan Rock 
level, yeah, but not worse. No, you said maybe worse. Maybe. What is worse than that? You know what? You die for the sake of the question. <laughs> you die. For that's the sake the of the question, we'll just say we'll just say Krishan Rock level. Even then, that's annoying. Man, that well, your windows. Well, that's, I, I'm confused because part of that toxicity is because of blue face. I'm not blue face. That's very valid. So, <laughs> she brings that out of blue, blue face a lot. Valid. I think I think blue face is also just a jiggity jackass. Very true. Hundred percent. Very true. But can you imagine constantly being antagonized twenty four seven? No, he can't because he doesn't like being antagonized by us. Let alone a woman that he sleeps with every night. Mm -hmm. You gotta She's go get in the bed, niggas. Why? You gotta go get in the bed with this bitch too. One time's <laughs> fold. Mm -hmm. And like I said, ain't nothing wrong with particularly big girls, but this is bigger than big. Mm -hmm. Bigger than big. Oh man, I, I got. I'm gonna stand on what I said before. You niggas crazy, man. <laughs> Hey, Y'all gonna die. Y'all crazy, man. Y'all gonna die. I'll fuck. find other pleasures over life. I'll no, go no, take myself a nice no. little routine. Maybe go out for some tea. Mm hmm. Uh, can't do it, man. Maybe I could just talk to some women. Not like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't getting no more, get you ain't getting no more business. No more business. Bring your wife around, man. I mean, you said it's boring. You didn't think, you didn't think that there to be fun times every once in a while. No. That is no, 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 no. Boring relationship. That bland, is a, bitch. That it is, is bland, but you can say bland, it's a boring relationship, a bland, but you've had bitch. good times before. That is a concern. I'm going to hold on to that one or two times we had some good relations. <laughs> I'm just going to hold on to it. Maybe I can just remember uh, it. Like, man, remember when this shit was that good. That ain't going to work. I'll tell you that much because there's a lot of relationships that fail off that alone. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. I had too many good experiences before. Right. Great ones. And now, I'm, now I, I'm trapped in I this. I can't do anything. I, I can't change. Cause I, I, I ain't going to front, man. That other, the other side. This is, is a good one. Too much. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, too right, well, yeah. they're both too much. Nah, Get, but I feel like one is more mental. Than <laughs> nah, man, I'm going with that toxic bitch. For sure. I ain't gonna lie. I, I really, I really hate that shit. Like, I like a little, like a little bit of toxicity, you know, like, like want me, you know, type shit. Like, you see a bitch talking to me, low key, get a little, get a little mad, a little heated a little bit. But um, I don't like that shit. But um, I can't do that boring shit, bro. I would not be a happy camper. Well, who said life is all about you? No, I'm playing. I'm bullshit. Shit. I'm bullshit. It's not all about me. But, but you got to about your kid, care. too. You got her pregnant. Pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Them kids going to be fucked. Mm -hmm. Nah, they going to have me, man. An unhappy camper? No, 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 no. I'll be, unhappy. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be unhappy with the boring bitch. You'd be unhappy in the toxic relationship, too? I'm not going to be as unhappy, though. <laughs> I'll just be, I'll just be um, He's stupid. very angered frequently. <laughs> That's you already, brother. <laughs> you gonna, gonna, gonna make it work? <laughs> oh man, I guess I, I'm not really happy with my answer, but I wouldn't be happy with the other shit too. So I'm going to settle. I'm going. I'm going for the boring. We'll settle. Any mini minded mo motherfucker. <laughs> shit. <laughs> what would y'all do? Let's go with tomatoes. Hope y'all enjoy. All right, y'all. Let's kick off some of these regular topics. <sighs> oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, blacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy way to lead that. Facts. I, I do not particularly like reading and writing. I don't like reading. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, Nick? Why are you laughing? Because I just, it's something so off guard. Like, I just never thought, like, that would come out your mouth. I just, wow. I'm just going to admit it. And when I say reading, I mean specifically, reading and writing, I mean specifically reading books. And 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 write, get a pe you know pencil, put it to the paper. It's not my favorite thing. I prefer typing, and I prefer reading other things. I don't I mean I don't read at all. I'm not illiterate. Stop that. <laughs> I'm not illiterate. I can be very articulate. I just choose not to be a lot of times. But y'all y'all not gonna believe me. But I just watch some of the. I be articulate on the podcast, man. I don't think I'm a dummy like that. If you see some clips and just some small moments of me, you probably assume you might you might assume I'm a dumbass maybe. But I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I can admit it. Cause I know like, y'all won't be reading like that, man. Y'all won't be reading like that. Y'all won't be writing like that either, man. Y'all be acting like y'all read right. I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's like extinct. My boy Rob over here, he reading a new book and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I know DJ be reading books and things of that nature. Financial and right. I got a book I'm reading too, but I'm probably not gonna finish it, man. <laughs> the, I've mentioned before uh, the autobiography of Michael X, of Malcolm X. I'm still reading it. I'm still reading it. I got about five more pages done on the plane to Houston, man. You know what I'm saying? Five At this point, I might be done by 85. Five hopefully, I, hopefully, I'll make it. Brandon, do you want to finish the book? I do, but I don't want it enough, DJ. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't like reading or writing. Yeah. Okay, so not, not the typing, though. I'm a god. 
oh my god, I'm a, I'm a god, and I definitely can type. I definitely be typing proper and shit too. But I can only defend myself so much. So much. I'm a black man yeah. who said he doesn't like to read and write after all we fought for. I, I don't feel good about it. Okay, I won't. I wish I loved. You know what? I used to read a whole lot, man. And my mama, I know my mama wouldn't be happy, man, because she put me on to so many books and like that. I was reading. I was like. I wasn't even double digits reading 500 plus page books and shit like that. But then something just happened once I hit middle school. I read one more big like 600 page book. I was done after that. After that, I couldn't finish. I don't know. If, I think it's I don't cool. know if I've, I've finished maybe like two books since then, man. I think mm. it's cool. Man, yeah. school, I didn't read none of that. I didn't read a oh, single no. book in its entirety. Spark notes. Spark notes. Straight spark Facts. notes. Fact, I had a, I had a, like a fucking 15 page paper I had to write on this book in college. I didn't read a single full page off that motherfucker. Mm. And I didn't have spark notes either. I had finessed the hell out of that. No spark <laughs> notes. And I still got a B. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. He was like, you can revise. I said, nigga, no. This is the best <laughs> all I got into me. Not to read this motherfucker. I ain't reading this shit. I ain't reading. Hell no. <laughs> no book. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> Fucking book. <You laughs> no, know, okay, let me stop. I go, stop the book. I'll go half with you on it. I don't like writing. Yeah, but I was I do gonna say that too. I, I do enjoy I don't like writing. Especially nowadays, like we too accustomed to the typing and shit. Like yeah, like, I like to like, write like lyrics and shit, and sometimes I guess like poetry and shit. But I can put my pen to the pad every once in a while. I have to really be in the mood though. Most times I'm typing because typing is just it's more it's a more efficient yeah, thing. Yeah, fact. It is realistically, and my handwriting is ass. And I be looking at it sometimes like, damn, bro, yeah. this shit is ass, man. It just makes me not want to write that much more. And my shit reverted back because my shit used to be god awful. DJs to make fun of my shit. Then my uh -huh. shit got good. It got better than DJs. Yeah, I've we actually like flip flopped. And like, then it fell back. We might, we might just be, we might just be both just. No, we definitely are because I don't write ever, so I know my <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like in my signature. I don't even try. I just be. Hey, you know, signature be getting facts. My signature different every goddamn time. Facts. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how they identify my ass. They need to stop asking for it. You know, oh, that's a different nigga God. every time. Y'all should start taking handprints at this facts. point. Facts. Fingerprints like or something. Yeah. Some. Some. But well, yeah, blacks. I'm sorry, and I can admit it though. Part of that, I got the cojones to admit that some of y'all would never mm. say that, and I understand it because it's not. It's not something to be proud of at all. Mm. Black people don't say it. Don't go around saying, you know what I'm saying, acting like you don't read and write and acting like you're cool for it. You're not cool. You just don't read and write. That don't mean you're stupid. Well, if you don't read and write, period, that's pretty fucking ridiculous. Like, yeah. You, you, should, be able to read. you should be reading something. Yeah, well, you mm. have to you have I read, to read things. Go through life. <laughs> I read things, but, like, you know, books make me sleepy. Facts. <laughs> that's facts. I, I Very just, fast. Go to bed. But I can name 10 books. Oh, shit. I just did something. I did a dirty. It'll take me a little minute, though. I don't know, man. I feel like school really like destroyed all of that for me, cause like being in class, you gotta write the notes down, and you gotta write fast so you can keep up. Or mm -hmm. I'm not stopping. And then you got this, you got this book you gotta read for English class. That you don't, don't give a, a damn about. Cause when I was reading like my books that my mom would put me on to, like Daniel X or like you know mm -hmm. Back with the Kid, like as a growing up, like that shit was fun. That was fun. Oh, and yeah. then like even now, like when I read my finance health book, like I look forward to reading those. Well, that could be something different. I think like I I never read those, but I feel like I could look forward to reading them. Yes, those were mm -hmm. actually books that were giving me knowledge that I actually gave a fuck about. Right. right. Fahrenheit 451. I couldn't oh, give any less of a damn no. about mm -hmm. this. The book about the how we were. The book was basically telling you that fuck books. The book itself was telling you yeah, fuck books. Literally. Like the giver, society like, great already book, but the I don't yeah, give a yeah. shit. Like giver, giver was good, but movie. I don't care. Like there were actually some good, the, the, those books have good stories too. But yes, yeah. but like they're not providing me any no yeah. grand value. Like I am like, getting I'd from mental watch, health. Like a good rendition of like a, like a movie, literally. And I'm with Brandon and since like when I was a kid, I used to be really big on the Narnia books, and those books are like 200, 300 pages, and I went through like a whole series, and then I think around fifth grade we had to do reading logs and shit and like they were actually oh. grading them because first second third we had the reading logs but i was just putting the check marks and getting pat and getting by yep no notes Facts. man you would have thought i was fifth, a slave fifth grade they where are your notes at why haven't you said anything about the book uh, rada, rada, rada. so now i felt like it was work and yes and, yes nah, i that don't like fantasy school made books. reading a chore yeah i failed reading in the fourth grade really well, damn near. I, w I was failing. I, I clutched it out, got me like a, like a 61, low D. <laughs> it was the reading log, man. Because yeah. I was literally, that's back when I was pr my prime reading year. So I was literally, my teacher would literally see me reading these big ass books. Mm -hmm. It's like, Brandon, I see you reading these books. So I don't know why you're reading logs. Because fuck that, man. Oh, fuck I'm reading right. logs. This is tedious than a motherfucker. Nah, tedious logs. as fuck. I said, I said, fuck the reading logs and shit. The only time I did the reading logs, 
I was in Iowa. And if you did the reading logs, you got like a free pizza. Free oh, pizza yeah. Hut. Oh, we low key. We so oh, my mom was like, my mom was like, oh, remember, motherfucker, if you want to eat, <laughs> you might as well get to reading that book. Fuck that measly old piece of the old. Cause I had pizza. Pizza, at the, pizza Hut was good back in the day. Pizza, at the was, crib, pizza though, was every once in a while. But it was free though. And you know, mom was, was gonna be like, nigga. Like the extra I flavor. Guess. It's like, it's man, like, they was giving them thin ass slices. Like, I don't give a shit. damn. It was free 99. And that mean I didn't have to yeah. BS that my mom was making. Cause at the time, yeah. I didn't like the food. I was like, I only wanted chicken nuggets and fries. That's the only thing I wanted as a kid. Oh, so yeah. she was making extravagant meals and I wasn't trying to eat that. And she's like, well, you can have a pizza if you read this book. Right. Boom, I'm reading the book. I'm getting a free pizza. Like, tell me. But like, everyone knows, like, them Percy Jackson books. Oh, man, reading oh, yeah. hell out of them. And those, oh, were, yeah. those were big books. Great yeah. reads for kids, too. Good but movies, like, too. You know, the movies? Mm-hmm. Percy Jackson. I, 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 I like the first one when it first came out when I was a kid. I don't know how I like it now, but. I, I loved it. I fell asleep. Movies. He was playing Medusa with a fucking iPod, bro. Oh, I didn't remember that. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Damn. But for sure. And I read, like, the extension ones. I think I read The Lost Hero and. I, think I got the Son of Neptune. That was actually the last book I tried to read, and I just, since then, I've been cursed. I can't finish the book. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. I don't finish a lot of books. I finished books. some books, though. It was I some finished books. a lot of books over the past Part-time years. Indian. Something like that. Some some <laughs> book about being a part-time Indian. I read that. It was a good book. Oh, you told me about that book. It was actually then. a great book. Yeah, you told me that. Great book. What's the name of the book, Rob? Why are you looking like that? <laughs> it's just a funny title. It yeah, it is a crazy title. Part-time Indian. But that's the only reason I remember Native it. Native American. Was crazy as hell. <laughs> he told me. Yeah, something about some story about the part-time Indians. It was a great book. Great book. That was like the last book I read of Fool and enjoyed it, I think. Yeah, I finished a lot of books over the past few But anyways, years. y'all, I just think some of y'all need to cut the shit. But if you read, great for you. I <laughs> love that for you. And I'm trying, man. But I gotta. I, I think I just got to find me a book that I would actually like, you know. That, that's but but things, the autobiography is interesting. But I just be falling asleep, though. Anyways, well, I don't think the falling asleep thing will change no matter what book you read. Yeah, yeah man, it's a thing. Like anyway. I fall asleep through in mine too. Yeah, I mean, you know, reading, you know, shout out to the, you know, shout out to books, but it's just not always for me. In the writing, you do thing of the past. Uh, <laughs> Janae Johnson, wait, yeah. All right, yeah, man. Janae I was Johnson. wanted to run past a question with y'all. The only reason I ask is because back then in high school, I had a, we had a homie, in like history class. He was like, I don't have sex with girls. I make love to them. And I'm like, nigga, we like juniors in high school. I'm like, you really out here loving these bitches? <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you juniors, bro. Like, okay. But I'm just like, but now I was just thinking about like how funny it was. And it's like, so what makes the difference? Like, what do you think makes the difference? Between What's the difference between having you? sex and quote unquote making love? Well, I think it's just the passion. Uh, I think it's about the connection that you've created with the person. That's where I was that go. is the making love aspect because it can be better once you really feel so comfortable with someone. Okay, right? so do you think with the same partner you can do both? But also, yeah, that's where I'm going to. I think a quickie is making is is just sex, and then I think they don't have to be a quickie. I think it's just like like you said, if it's just less passionate in this one, yeah, because you know we trying to you know we all got a common goal, you know, mm-hmm. trying to get that thing off. Mm-hmm. So. And like you said, it's all about. I feel like it's all about passion, you know. It is because I've heard people say some sex sessions take three to four hours, mm-hmm. and to a person who's only had sex, that's like, how the hell you pull that off? But for them, it was making love because it's it was more than just sex. It mm-hmm. was you know foreplay, leading up, cuddling up, the, the whole nine, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I just thought it was interesting to think about because I feel like nowadays that's not talked about anymore. Cause remember we're growing up, up, yeah. Because I remember, flooding. I remember growing up, my mom would be like, "Oh, that's baby making music, or that's like mm-hmm. love making music." Mm-hmm. Marvin Gaye, sexual. She, she like, she, she, she like that. Like, I don't hear that no more. Sexual. Sexual. Okay. I don't hear that no more. Like, I don't hear that no more <laughs> at all. Actually, they don't make a lot of. I mean, there's just a few people that make it, but it's not in the Fair forefront. Way. We all know what it is. Right. Yeah, like I said, the, on, yeah. on the male side, what? bang bang shoot a nigga. Robbing nigga, drugs, mm-hmm. on the female side, finessing nigga, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 delivering cooch, things of that nature. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy, though, because there was, I feel like there was always, like, a side of music that was just about fucking bitches. It was mainly the men, because it wasn't that many, like, female rappers back right. then. But uh, R&B was always super, like, passionate, yeah. sexy, love, and, that, and even but- now, the R and B today is like yeah. snatch a bitch up by yeah. a hair, blow it back down. Yeah, yeah. sucking like, pain, licking pain, delivering yeah. cool things of that nature. Yes. And I was listening to some some old songs and like the sad the crazy well it's not sad, but like the crazy part is like the rhetoric is almost the same. 
Mm-hmm. But it's the, the vibes. It's right. It's this way they're saying yeah, it and the, the delivery, vibes of yeah. it. And I'm just like, that is insane. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's sexual, but it's not raunchy. There's a difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not shoot me in the face with it. Yeah. It's more low flow with me on this river type shit. And where yeah. I, that yeah. shit's nuts to me, and Sometimes bro. you don't need to get that descriptive because you already know, just by the vibe alone, it's like, you already know mm-hmm. we finna get down. Exactly. So. It's funny because I just remember singing songs when I was a kid and my mom would come and like smack me on the back of the head. Like, you don't even know what that's about. But, and don't, not at all. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right. I was singing a song. It's like me. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just funny because I was talking to her about it and she was like, there's so much swearing in your guys' music. That's why I don't like listening yeah. to it. And I was like, but they were swearing in y'all music. She was like, no. Not, not the same way. She was right. like, no. A lot of the older music, other than like the new thug rap, a lot of the older music, they had different words that they were using. And it was much easier to play in a public setting. A lot of the music that nice. we have now, I would not play in public. Fair yeah. as hell. Fair as hell. But they do. Very fair. Mm-hmm. They do play them in public. Well, they just bleep no. it out. Yeah, exactly. But we already know what they say. We still yeah. know what they say. Yeah, though. it's very obvious. Mm-hmm. It's like, they even like a little kid can pick up. Facts. Like, oh, he said, he said bitch right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, he said nigga. Yeah, your ass in the back of that cop. <laughs> beach, beach, beach. Yeah. Beach. <laughs> so, yeah, my homie had talked. That was my first cuss word I was saying. So, I was saying first grade. That is so, still wild, bro. That's a funny ass story. Yeah, I have to go back, try to find that. I don't remember what episode that was. I don't know. One of the early episodes back on the couch. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, but yeah, I mean, making love. But thing is, but obviously, he, dude was in high school saying that. Mm-hmm. So, he, I mean, he might just have like a girlfriend or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. Kind of exaggerating. But I also have heard people say I was making love, but it wasn't with a girl. It might be like the first time they had sex, but like maybe like making love can mean two things, or it might be lust. Mm. But you still get that same sort of passion, like mm. you said it's about the passion. So yeah. making love, yeah. you can already be in love, but also you can make love meaning like after this we finna be in love. Yeah, that's fair. Fair, fair. Yeah, the, the two things would be true. Yeah. Mm. Meanwhile, otherwise, yeah, like, besides me putting my foot on the back of your head and shit like that, you yeah. know. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, apparently, people do that. Yeah, they, do. Do. they do. They do. They do. I'm looking forward that, to mine. Um, yeah, <laughs> man. I don't know. They just took the experience away, man. But after I did it yeah. a few times, you know. Oh, you you don't put your your foot on oh, no, back no, no, on no, my no, head. No. Oh, <laughs> my damn. No, nah, I was a little bit I'll, extra to me. I was talking about. I was talking about. <laughs> I'm like the, the passion, the passion behind it, the mm-hmm. passion behind it. I say because I it was always, Morgan. it was, oh, it's always just been painted in my brain. You know, fuck this bitch, slut her out. That you know, is valid. I still, you know, still slut the bitch out, yeah, yeah. but like, <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, it's, it's on the forefront yeah. now. It's not more. I don't know. It's just like different after I experienced it. It's just like mm-hmm. that was okay, but it wasn't the greatest. Yeah, I definitely feel that. You know, sure as hell. Yeah, man. But yeah, bro. What, what y'all? What y'all think? Let us know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Robert Dennis. Man, I wanted to talk about this question I saw. It really uh it really poked me in, in a, a wrong way, so to speak. So I was looking on Twitter and there's these black pill guys. If you don't know what black pill is, they basically think women only like men that are attractive and they don't believe in game or anything like that. And uh someone had said that charisma is not something that you can gain, it's something that you're born with. And I really had to fucking veto that shit. I was commenting under there as a whole threads and shit just because as a kid, I was very socially awkward and I struggled to talk to people. And as I grew up and gone, have gone through so many different experiences, I've become, I mean, I don't want to flex, but I think I've become a pretty charismatic person. Mm-hmm. What, y'all, what are y'all thoughts? I'm 100% no, I agree. agree. I think it's a must. I agree. I think it's a very arrogant statement to, to make. It's almost discrediting crediting everybody like Rob and me. And me too. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, motherfucker, um, I'm short. So to get my foot in the door, I got to do a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Right. And to sit there and say that I don't get bitches is crazy. Right. But at one point, that wasn't the case. Mm-hmm. Like, I was short. So they're like, bro, you just short. Like, watch out. I've had taller girls tell me I'm attractive all the time. Mm-hmm. That ass. Like, I've been with taller women. Mm-hmm. But I had to, that wasn't at the beginning. I had to start at somewhere. I had to, you know, gain charisma. Mm-hmm. And this shit don't come free. Shit, you got to go, you got to do some trial and error. Mm-hmm. You got to get rejected. Sure. Right, you got to put in some work. For sure. So for somebody to sit there and say, you got to be born with that, poor that's cap as hell. Yeah, exactly. It's just, I don't know, people like that, I feel like it just goes to show either they don't have any charisma or I don't know, because like, I feel like, do you think that's what it is? Cause mm. or do you, cause I would assume that some of those these black pill guys, it's the first time I'm hearing about these guys. Mm-hmm. How many pills are there? Don't uh, do drugs. Uh, black pill, red pill, blue pill. 
Like, God damn. <laughs> but anyway, it's like, you, you're you more familiar with this, so do some of them seem like they get a lot of girls and stuff? Um, or? Yeah, there's a few, but they're like pretty boys. So right. they're like they're like models. Right. So they they're blessed, gel, they, really. Yeah, they gel their hair, mm -hmm. they have chiseled features and shit like that. So, so that makes it they even more get, invalid. They get women, but I wouldn't even I wouldn't even describe them as like a player or anything like that. You know, like a nigga that get a lot of bitches, they just have the ability to, but right. probably don't. But I don't know because I see them in pictures. But it's just weird because I'm, I'm thinking like the way you describe these black pill guys, what mm. what are they trying to sell? Like I assume they're trying um, to sell something. So it just it just depends, like. I have no fucking idea. Like, I think, you get I think it's about I think it's about they're trying to teach people about style, how you can build up your hygiene, what you should be oh. using, how to dress, um oh, so they're trying to take hairstyles the, and, gotcha. and shit like that. They're trying like, to take the voice game out of it and put it all I, on material things. But like that's not that's not the I feel like that's not the way you should really go. But I feel like they're putting themselves in a box in terms of how like much they could profit off of that. Because mm -hmm. let's face it, these red pill guys are trying to make money off y'all. That's the biggest thing. Definitely. Um so yeah, that's what I'm kinda confused on. But yeah, it's definitely a it's definitely a muscle. Yeah. Anyone that Hell says yeah. that, it kind of because when he, when I when I hear that, oh, uh, you know, basically you know that stuff, the charisma, people are born with it or whatever. Mm. Or women only want guys that look good or whatever. And you can't earn it. That kind of sounds like someone that don't get no bitches. Doesn't have any of it. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> have any of it. And they'll never. And they're just pouting. Yeah, it's yeah. Like they're pouting like it. Literally. Yeah. Like oh, uh, would want me. They're trying to appeal to. The motherfuckers that aren't getting anything. And it sounds like they don't yeah. have a lot of confidence when I hear just yeah. that blanket statement. But I'm, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking, that's why I asked the question I did. Yeah. Bro, I, the, I first heard of the black pill niggas. Um, literally, Hamza, they were calling him red pill. I, I wouldn't describe Hamza as red pill, but whatever. They were calling him red pill, and they put him in a debate against some random guy who was black pill. He, wasn't, he wouldn't show his face, so... He just had his camera off and a mm. black screen. That's very interesting. Um, and they were just going back and forth, and the argument was just insane. Like, he just made no sense. And he was just basically discrediting game, like game doesn't exist. And yeah. I just can't believe it because I've had bitches that weren't attracted to me that I got in contact with that I've made attracted to me just mm -hmm. off the way that I speak. Yep. So, yeah, man. I, yeah, it, for sure. It's definitely something you flex. Like, bro, I know right now, you know, sex symbol, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you'd be, you know, Chubby kid, nerdy, a little oval glasses, breasts. Man, I had like, you know, some like little B cups. It wasn't huge, but you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Wasn't getting nothing. Definitely damn sure I couldn't talk to him because I didn't have the confidence. But mm -hmm. one thing I want to bring up too, and it's really a playoff of Rob shit, is it's like social anxiety because everyone experiences that. Definitely. And uh, I was watching a video. Like, I watch those self improvement videos sometimes too. That can actually mm -hmm. really help you. Mm -hmm. For real, man. Um, And I was watching this video and this dude was talking about how. You know, humans are all extremely social creatures. Mm -hmm. like if you stick a baby in a room of just a bunch of people talking around, eventually they will learn how to speak mm -hmm. and shit like that. So basically just saying that, meaning that you're not socially handicapped like you think you are, like you're just incapable. Mm -hmm. No, you may have not just start off as good, but it's a muscle that you can work on. You can build it. Like yeah. you see like skinny people, some skinny people grow to get strong or whatever, you know, get big, or whatever, vice versa. Like, you don't have to, you're not stuck in that box. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. Like, it's, yeah, like I said. Yeah. Something I wanted to add to that, uh, it's just like you really have to give your brain reference. Like, everyone has something that they're confident in, whether it be a simple, something as simple as playing a video game that you mm -hmm. got good at. You have to give your brain reference to understand that this isn't so big. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to happen if I fail here. And once you give yourself that reference multiple times, you build that confidence up to where talking to people is nothing. And also just know, like party that's settings, one thing I had to learn because I struggled with parties a lot. That's mm -hmm. why I didn't go to a lot when I was a kid. Um, party settings, everyone in there is stifled. Yep, Everyone is coming to meet people and have a good time, but everyone is stifled yeah. the same way that you are so that should take just up 10 times so, more pressure off of you to just walk up to somebody so, and say hello and so no one's gonna just turn and be like fuck off bitch like why would they <laughs> why would they like, like why would they be at the party it doesn't make sense you but know? they're scared of even just getting shrugged off just mm -hmm. being rejected even in the slightest mm -hmm. you gotta kind of get over that yeah but sometimes they might you might feel like you got rejected the whole time they're nervous you know Literally. like and this kind of one's one kind of just example i wanted to bring up you know, because I'm trying to get better at just kind of talking to strangers and shit like that. I know that's mm -hmm. what your parents tell you, tell you not what to do. But <laughs> as you become, like, an adult and shit like that, it kind of makes more sense. Not saying, like, you know, just casual or just acknowledging their existence. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Knowledge that they're there. So, for example, I'm at my job or whatever. I'm going down. We're, we're going to, like, a long, whether it's a hallway or just, like, a long a path or whatever. 
It's just me and the other person. I, I'm going to the bathroom. They doing whatever. Obviously, we going down. We look at each other for like 20 seconds. I'm not going to just look here, or look up here, to right. my left, to my right, everywhere but the person in front of me. I know this motherfucker's there. I feel like that's kind of weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not saying I have to go and say, oh, hello, and try to have a conversation with him, but just like, right. you walk up, smile a little bit, give a little nod or whatever. Yep. Especially, in, especially in a spot that you we might see them again. Yes. That goes for just anyone, whether you whether men or women, it don't really matter. Like, it can definitely help. But yeah. one thing, going back to social anxiety, I mean, I did this just, nigga, like, I think yesterday. Same situation. I walked down and this girl, and I just, I'm not, I wasn't on nothing like that for real. I was acknowledging her existence. I nod, and what did she do? Real bashful. Look down, kind of smiling, look down, just beeline for the bathroom door. I'm mm-hmm. looking like, the fuck? I start laughing. I ain't gonna lie to mm-hmm. it. But I start going. I'm just like, you start realizing, like, motherfuckers want to yeah, like Is she bad? My bad. We, no, we talk about but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, but, but like, it's, it shows the confidence in him, though. Mm-hmm. Because, like, like he said, he didn't freak the fuck out. He not looking in the sky and shit. No. He just acknowledged that she's alive, alive. and in front of his face. Breathing. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, <laughs> like, like, literally. And that enough, fellas, that enough will get y'all in that the That enough door, will get you in the door, especially yeah. in the spot where you can, you can see her again, like your job or right. whatever it's, Wherever yeah, you at, yeah. school, wherever you at. Because yeah, now, plan, not only yeah. do you boost your own confidence, now but you boosted hers too. Mills, now, you want to get to the next? She Ooh. feels that she can talk to you. you want, before we get to this little d- debate, you want to get to the game's game. Game's game. Um, shout out to that one dude. You saying crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Life is Cars. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah. fellas. You know, I've been asked at my job a few times, how do you know? Uh, I don't know about approach women, but how to just bring up the possibility of even talking to one. Mm. Um, this older guy in my job was asking me. He told me that he saw the most beautiful girl he ever seen in his <laughs> life at the job, and I'm like, "Use one crazy one most." <laughs> um, but I'm like, you know what? Beauty is an eye to behold, so you do you, do my dog. So I told him this. I said, "Look, bro, what you want to do is next time, don't go up to her because it's just, now you invading her space. Mm-hmm. Next time y'all cross paths, just look at her and." Make a little concerning face. Not too crazy, because you don't want to be weird as hell. Right. But just ask them, are you all right? Of course, they're going to say yeah, because everybody going to hide it. You know, nobody wants to say, no, I'm not all right. And if they do, you probably should run. Um, <laughs> But, because okay. that's trauma dumping. But, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they're going to say, yeah, I'm fine. After that, keep it pushing. It's the same thing with Brandon did. He's he's looked at her, smiled. It's not a little nod. Give a nod. Much. Now she bashful as hell. She walking away. Now, the main thing to do with this kind of stuff, you just want to be on the woman's head, bro. You just want to be in the woman's head. You just want to be in the woman's head. You ain't got to say, no, I, my name is this. You know, I drive this. I make, no, you ain't got to do none of that. Just say, you good? And then they're going to be like, yeah, of course. Walk away. Mm-hmm. Now, next time they see you, you might get a little bit more. They might come up to you, try to give you a little smile, a little high. What's going mm-hmm. on with your type? Because sh- that's worked for me multiple times mm-hmm. in the same job. The same girl for right. out. <laughs> right. I ain't gonna tell them that though, but you know, right. You know, but you know, like it's this is a lot simpler than y'all make it seem, bro. Y'all got y'all trying to do the most, like, you know. Yeah. You trying to give all your information and stuff. You don't gotta do all that. Just mm-hmm. say how you doing. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. and you don't gotta be so you don't gotta give everything on the first encounter, bro. Just keep it you keep don't. it cool and simple, bro. But what if, what if they're in a situation where you're probably never gonna see him again? I've heard okay. things like the three second rule. I don't care about none of that. The thing is, if you if you're concerned about seeing them again, you have the wrong mindset. Because uh, not every well, time some situations you yeah. know you ain't gonna see them. Yeah, again. like the club or being out. But see, or even if you just out anyway. Like yeah. Probably, you, if you, yeah. But one thing I know is that a man with options is unstoppable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you want to sit here and say I'll never see this girl again, that means you putting all your eggs in one basket, Boom. and and that's a big old thing we don't do. Mm. You ask, should know this. Let me ask. He Robin. knows this better than anybody because of his count. Let me ask Rob this. So let's say like they, because I, because I, like I said, I've seen people talk about this too, like the three second rule. Mm-hmm. If you're in a situation, a spot with a girl, and you know you're never going to see her again. One, give two, yourself three. One, go. two, three. And at that point, you didn't need to choose, but you're just going to walk up, say hello, ask if you want to get to know her or whatever, mm-hmm. or just keep it pushing. Right. Because now mm-hmm. you're just waiting. Uh, yeah. You want to do it. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. just go. Uh, I want to shout out my Would boy, uh, Coach Kyle. Uh, Coach Kyle, I watch a lot of his, I watch a lot wow. of his videos. Just, uh, he's like, Teaching a lot of charisma and teaching like social awareness and shit like that. Um, literally, three second rule. You decide whether you're gonna go for it or not. I'm going for it every time. If I see a girl that I think is like beautiful that I want, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go for it. And it's not me putting all my eggs in one basket. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna approach her 
under the terms that I want to meet her. But Steve, it's you for you it's different because mm -hmm. you said any girl you shoot, not everybody shooting. A lot of these dudes ain't shooting. They yeah. keep it a buck. Yeah. yeah, a lot of these dudes not shooting. So this is the one that's gonna be like, oh, I mustered up all my strength to talk to this one, mm -hmm. and but, this one rejection could shut him down. But but you gotta get your shots up in exactly. the gym. And I'm a, I'm I'm a hundred percent agreeing. That's why it's the difference between Rob because Rob has charisma and Rob is going to keep shooting. But, but is, a lot of niggas are not going to keep shooting. Okay, but, true. But that's but a mindset thing. That's a mindset is, thing. It's good okay. for them, though. I agree. So, so are you but saying, it's a mindset thing. So you're saying that if they're not comfortable with that, they're just so stuck in it that they should just only focus on girls that you know you're going to see again? That would help. Maybe that, that's a good starting that's point. That's a good starting point. But eventually... I, well, duh. I, I agree with y'all mm -hmm. on that. The fact we're is saying you the same want thing. to get that good, we're saying the same thing. one girl. We're saying the same thing. It's just the timeline is different. Right. Because I'm taking a dude that's not no charisma whatsoever. Right. He's in a club. And he's never yeah, gonna see this girl yeah, again. Don't just walk up he gets shut down. Now yeah. his mind is fucked. Don't just walk up that girl Women that he's gonna see yeah. again, he doesn't even want to approach. Right. Because mm -hmm. he don't want to be rejected. I feel that. Rob sure. is totally different. Rob, Rob gonna shoot a shot. Cause what we what we say? Shoot or shoot. He got a shot or something in the gym. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like one thing. I, I be playing basketball, trying to train my shit. One thing I, I saw this video is this dude talking about basketball, how to get better psychologically during the games, or whatever, and to make sure you're not nervous. Cause sometimes, you know, you go into the games, heart baby, you don't know what Facts. to do. Any sport. And it really is you just have to train more yes mm -hmm. in the point where now when you're in this game have the mindset that you know i know i've been putting the work working, in yep so like i have all these other people i'm either working just as hard as them or more probably than. more than them yeah mm -hmm. so that give you that extra confidence just yeah, knowing yeah. that gotta same thing 10, with the, hours with of training game. man you gotta get your ten thousand hours you gotta, of you gotta, training you got repetition bro yeah they say just, nervousness really stems from not knowing mm -hmm. yeah so you gotta you gotta know it bro like i said like we've been talking about they just these people you know? Yeah, literally. I think people just need to get that part down. They are just people. They eat shit and fuck. And get rejected too. The way you said that, there wasn't no comma. So, like, I thought, you're like, yeah, eating Doogie. This is crazy. We're going back to uh, Doogie sandwiches. Talk. Uh, it, it, my brain just. My bad. Eat shit. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But yeah, that's just a little bit for y'all. Like I said, y'all want to see more of that? For sure, man. Real quick, man. Bone to pick. This is going to be real fast. Real, I promise all this time. I, I talked about this before, man. All right, man. Blacks. I be calling black people a whole lot, but I like doing it, man. Shout <laughs> out to you. I love my people, but I got to call some shit out. Stop talking about Eminem. I saw this one clip where this dude was basically doing his top three, and he named Eminem in there, and the dude said he hated it or whatever. The clip was funny. Shout out to them. I think mm. it's Redacted Pod. Shout out to them. They starting out doing their shit. And then it's, I didn't have no problem with it, but the people in the comments saying, oh, automatically said Eminem is trash, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, stop disrespecting that man. I don't like how they acting like he white. That's the only reason why. Then what's up with all the white the rappers? rappers? Right. Why they ain't, why they ain't the mm -hmm. biggest like that mm -hmm. in a predominantly black industry? Mm -hmm. You got black, 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 black. You got this one white dude. Why? Because he's cold. Mm -hmm. He's co-signed by Dr. Dre, all these other people. And respected. Like, come on, respected. Your favorite well, rapper that you like. You like Kendrick. All of them was trying to, they was trying to, they was influenced by Eminem. Yes. Literally. Like, come on, man. Eminem is golden, dude. Like, like I don't, come on, I don't, I don't like that disrespect Like, come on. And the fact that he's able to do those numbers, talk about that crazy shit he was, yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. And I, it, like, after his first three albums, I can't defend it too much. It did fall. I'm not gonna lie. Some of them drugs just did something. But I don't know. Don't do drugs, but some about them. Yeah, I don't him, know. it worked. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. The first three albums, for me personally, I know a lot of people, I can choose any one of those three, put them like top five hip hop albums, like, period. Like, so stop that. Ain't nothing wrong putting them in your top five. Daenerys Johnson. All right, Finance Friendly of the Week. Recently, I just posted my progress on knocking my credit card debt down. Um, I had a credit card. $5,100 on it and it has $7,500 on it and in about six to seven months I got it to negative and negative on a credit card is means yeah, yeah. the it's bank happening. owes you mm -hmm. technically but people were asking me like oh like how do you get this shit done like how do you do this how do you pull this off you gotta you know you got bills Ooh, this, that. look man the plan is simple the plan is very simple it's all about dedication though a lot of y'all just don't have the dedication for it dead ass um I I lost on a, a lot on a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I was doing two hundred fifty dollars a week. A week that's a thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Knocking it down, knocking it down, knocking it down. There are so many weeks where I'm like, "Fuck this! I'll never get it to zero. Mm -hmm. But it's just dedication. All you gotta do is find a number that you can pay every week or every time you get paid, and slowly but surely it'll just knock down. Mm -hmm. You just gotta have the dedication to keep going, bro. For real. Really, you gotta be an adult. You gotta be a man about it. Yeah, you gotta. It's, these are your responsibilities, man. You gotta live up to them. Facts. Facts. And you put yourself in the holes. You can't blame nobody. Just like really. that. Bars. Bars. Well, for your instance, 
you, I mean, you gotta you gotta I live and learn, my, but you know, yeah, I put myself in that hole though. <laughs> anyways, anyways, boss. you got some boss. more boss. So, uh, like Brandon said at the beginning of the pod, I've been reading this new book called Essentialism. Um, I just ordered it from the hard copy today, but I have been just reading little passage excerpts. I haven't been able to read the full book yet, but there was one quote that my sister sent to me because we're reading it together. And uh, it really resonated with me a little bit because I think I have fallen in this trap before, like probably last year after COVID and everything. I wanted to get out, get out, get out. And I stopped focusing on what I wanted. And the quote goes, only once you give yourself permission to stop trying to do it all, to stop saying yes to everyone, can you make your highest contribution towards the things that really matter. And what that's saying is stop being a yes man. Stop yep. trying to please everyone. Stop trying to have fun 24 seven. Your life can't be fun 24 seven. It's not, you have to work if you want to achieve your goals. And I just, I don't know, man, it just resonated with me so much because I found myself stuck in a hole of constantly trying to go out and making sure that my friends see me. For sure. And I've definitely been in situations like relating to myself where like, uh, cause I, I get in my spaces of I'm, grinding or whatever it might be or i'm trying to get my headspace back right and some people i might not talk to for a minute but we, when we you know come back together for me it's still all love it's like we we come back you know right where we left off but i had situations in the past where the whole time someone had a problem with me i think i just cut them off or something like mm -hmm. it wasn't even that you know like i said even like with video games and stuff <clears throat> ain't nothing all the way fun you, you look at nba players people's dream to play basketball ask mm -hmm. any nba player that's just a fucking job Facts. Mm -hmm. fucking job Facts. Even we do this podcast. You think this is fun all the time? This this part, easiest part. Max. Shit behind the scenes, hardest part. Pure hell. That's a lot of people don't even understand. And that's why they won't go that far. Because, you know, relating back to what Rob said, you're always chasing the euphoria and this and that. Mm -hmm. And just kind of like this mindset of, you know, you always caught in the, what's the, what's the word? You know, like you said, we all, we're all these uh, stim, stimulus, uh, stimu, stimulant junkies. There mm -hmm. we go. You're always chasing that stimulation. Mm -hmm. And overstimulation is a real thing. So, yeah, for real, man. Be a man. Be a woman. Be a shit. Grow up. Be an adult. Nigga. Right. Just be an adult. <laughs> you feel me? Hope y'all enjoy, man. Blast your boys show. Episode numero 60. E Cinco. 65 of y'all, man. Patreon coming up right next, man. Coming up right next. No diggity. No doubt. Doing that. $3, man. Shit. 